Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast and conditions report. Brought to you by Geppettos. You can find them in Village West. And you can always find uh, this and much more at WSKITV.com. Looking ahead towards the day on Tuesday, we'll see mostly sunny skies. So get out there early and enjoy the sunshine. We'll see increasing clouds in the afternoon. Summer temperatures 5 to 9. Base temperatures 13 to 17. So a bit chilly out there. Probably grab those gloves or those mittens rather than those gloves and have that face mask handy. And we'll see a light west-south breeze. Uh, southwest breeze across the hill tomorrow as well, which shouldn't cause any issues. Wednesday, February 1st, no likely. Could see two to four inches of accumulation throughout the day. South and west winds uh, up towards the summit, and we'll see temperatures on Wednesday topping out in the mid to upper 20s down here around the base. For Thursday, we'll see flurries and some snow showers out there. High of 22 with a low of 8 at the summit. And 14 will do it for your high on Friday with flurries. And the conditions will continue to stay uh, quite cool right into the weekend. Birchwood and Terriers, they're located in Village West. They've got the best prices on Serta mattresses in the country, so go check them out. They're open year-round. 142 trails of ski and ride on, 9 lifts getting into those runs, 59 trails all groomed out, and we're looking at some nice pack powder and loose granular surfaces. Just about the whole mountain is open, so get out there and enjoy. Do want to let you know Narrow Gauge will be closed all week for the Speed Week uh, for downhill races, so go check those guys out, hammering down the mountain, reaching some pretty fast speeds out there. But all the Central Mountain trails will get groomed out, as well as all the trails around the base area, uh, all groomed out, all the regulars over on the east side. They hope to get to Flume, Widowmaker, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger and Two Hall, as well as Whiffle Tree and Lower Buckboard, Rollway, Slasher, and Springboard. On the west side, Scoot, Lower Windrow, Horseshoe, and a Good Chance will all be smoothed out tonight for some great corduroy runs. First thing tomorrow morning in the sunshine. And all the train parks got some work, will get some work as well. Snubber, Sawdust, and Skidway, those are the lower lifts. They'll move you around the base area at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Double Runner West or East will get going uh, at 8.30 as well. And that gets you a little bit higher up on the hill for runs down Lower Winters Way and Boardwalk as well as Pipeline, which they'll groom out. And Super Quad and Skyline, those get going at 8.30. Those service the mid-mountain. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut. That'll allow you to branch out all across the mountain, east to west, and the Super Quad gets you to some great uh, mid-mountain terrain. Wiffle Tree and King Pine, those service the east sides of the mountain. They get going at 9 o'clock. Wiffle Tree is a nice intermediate area uh, with the Skybound Park, which is a beginner park over there to check out. And King Pine gets you to some great expert runs high on the east side. Timberline will get you some great views from the top of the mountain. And you can go right over the front face for some great expert terrain. Ski with some of the best skiers in the east. And if you want to hit the beginner terrain, hit the Timberline Trail off of the Timberline Quad at the top of the mountain. Whole network is open down to Sugarloaf Outdoor Center for cross-country skiing. They've got about 60K of classic groomed out, 75K of cla uh, skate style, 15K of snowshoeing. The Special Olympic events will still be going down at the ice rink, uh, so that will open tomorrow afternoon. And fat biking on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday afternoons. The snowmobiling is in great shape, so if you... Uh, waiting to get out there, wait no longer because the trails are in excellent shape uh, from Kingfield all the way up to the Canadian border. And we want to let you know about our exclusive time-lapse view on our website. Click on the quad cam uh, button and you'll see our time-lapse photography as well as live video right there from the base of the Super Quad so you can see what's going on, what the weather looks like, etc. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you can find us on there, and we're always on our website, wskitv.com, with lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy, each one of those a reason to stay another day.